prepare to get swole. As we have swole patrol entering the ring. They spend a lot of time in the gym here. And they do, and they also spend a lot of time in front of the mirror. We've got Mr. Atlantis coming to the ring. And Rodrigo Montanez, we hear Priestess and Treatise introducing them. Best looking tag team in Crossfire Wrestling right now. Steve, you really need to get your glasses on, buddy. All right, gentlemen. Welcome Thank back. Thank you very much. Here we go. We have a veteran in the ring here, Mr. Atlantis. And we have a very new wrestler here, folks, Rodrigo Montana, a product of Ben Portman's Crossbody Pro Wrestling Academy. Some very good blue chip looking work from this young man in the last couple of years. This is going to be exciting to see what these two can do here against the reigning champions. Big bad and bold. I got to tell you, though, I'm having a hard time taking anyone serious that comes out to Careless Whisper. All right. Well. Wham. And you, of course, already know, we are the Swole Patrol. Take a look at us, and you only wish, because the Swole Patrol is so delish. Oh my goodness. They are not lacking in confidence. If I was a woman, I'd be all over them. Let, let me wet right now. Oh my goodness. I've got nothing. Nothing. Now you know the sport patrol waiting to show up for a tag title match. Without being the best looking. Smartest. Wrestling, but we also got a little surprise for you. There's more? Insurance policy. Insurance policy, that might be a good idea. Up in your ears. Yeah, that's what we need. It's not. Nice. Would you leave Burns alone? You guys have no respect and no class. But without further ado, let's tell you that this insurance policy has over 20 years of experience with our opponent. That's Stick ball, Tony Baloney. What? What? We can't be talking about. No. No, we can be talking about. No. Oh my God, it is Gary Gambino, Welling native, heavy hitter of the heavy hitters. And a former manager, partner of Stickball. What? What's with that? Longtime manager of the Italianos here coming out with the Swole Control. I don't understand this, guys. Oh, huh? A little bit of a slip there, you know? Yeah, that, that might be karma, exactly. That could be karma. It could just be, you know, some of the slime that tripped off that last referee. Oh, my Lord. I don't think we're going to hear the end of this. Uh, if you need representation, Burns, make sure you give me a call. I'll hook you up with uh, one of the finest lawyers around. Oh, Gary Gambino. What are you doing, Gary? Well, Gary's looks like going where the money is. That's right. He sees a young team here. And Obviously, this is going to be a disadvantage for Triple B here, the former manager of Stickball, and now three three against two. I mean, school he's, he's a manager. This isn't three against two. He's just there to give wisdom, impart wisdom, and to let them know a few things maybe about their counterpart Stickball in that. So, uh, you know, we have to talk to the competition committee here. Right here they we go. The big man. Right back Look at me. Looking like a Hulk. Look at those pythons on Rob Rage. There's no vices this guy indulges in, except for working out. The guy's a monster. He's definitely a monster. A big man, and the fans here just love Triple B. Big, bad, and bald. The new Crossfire Tag Team Champions. And they won that in a street fight they, against the Dirty Vats. They sure did. And then they even uh, defended it against uh, Power and Finesse. Is he kidnapping that kid? What the heck? Right. Where are this kid's parents? All right, folks. So as you can see, the defending champions in here, they were originally supposed to be going up against Power and Finesse, who couldn't make it this evening. The, uh, the plane that they were on had to turn back for mechanical issues. 
Uh, I'm not sure what's going to be happening here, but big props to Swole Patrol for answering the bell, taking on our current champions. Mm -hmm. I'm not sure there's going to be any uh, animosity between uh, both teams, but uh, when we bring out Gary Gambino... I was going to say, that's, uh, that's sticking it right to Stickball right away. And Stickball, normally jovial guy smiling out there. We're not seeing too many smiles on his face right now. You know, it makes me wonder if uh, Gary had intentions to be going on to the... Uh, Pound Finesse team. All right, here's the Vanilla Gorilla, Mr. Rage. Got something to say. So they come out top and top. Coming out to Wham. Wham. Yeah. Yeah. Rage and I are in agreement. So yeah, they came out to Careless Whisper by Wham. 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 Fantastic group. <laughs> that may be the case, but it's not exactly the team you want, the song you want to come out to. You're tough enough if you can come out the win. Because we don't want to hear any of that. Well, apparently this is not a Spirit Rules match that it was originally scheduled for against Power and Finesse. Nope, just a straight up tag team match for the titles. I for I'm excited to see how uh, this new team fares here. I'm excited to see how Triple B can actually do a match with, a, with rules. <laughs> that'll be, that'll be uh, interesting to see as well. I gotta tell you, I was a, a bigger fan of uh, Triple B when they first came out, uh, but they seem to have gotten fan favorites now. They care too much about these fans. And, you know, like, as I keep harping on, you know, you worry more about these fans than you do about the match, and you're just gonna end up losing matches. If these fans put a paycheck in your mouth, these fans did not put a paycheck in my mouth. Um, Chris LaPlante put a paycheck in my hand. So um, these fans, no offense, had nothing to do with my, my pay. Well, back into the match here, gentlemen. We can't be talking about stipends and such from that company. Hey, listen, I'm just saying, these guys in the ring right here, they have to stop worrying about these fans, and they have to worry about each other. I don't think these two worry too much about the fans. This match is starting off with the two seasoned and tenured veterans here, the power men and one on the outside waiting. Ooh, Ooh that's a little surprising. Mr. Mr. Lannis showing his power. Mr. Lannis. Oh, oh my God. Goodness. Mr. Atlantis is not too bright. Okay, Mr. Atlantis is still suffering a little bit of ADD, but that's okay. Stickball with a big shoulder taking Mr. Atlantis down. Does a little gyrating of his own. <laughs> Stickball not falling for it. Head and arm, plastic takedown now. Stickball. Stickball making sure that uh, Mr. Atlantis' face is getting a little swole. Carboni was uh, quite the collegiate wrestler in his day. Ooh, a little violent, too. Yep. Oh, he's got him up here. Set him up for a big uh, power slam. Oh, goodness. It's not so much as a power slam, it's just a toss. Holy <laughs> moly. I'd be crawling back to my partner, too, after a shot like that. All right, the big man getting in the ring now. Montana. I'm, I'm excited to see what he brings to the table here. This is my first time getting the chance to see him, Mr. Yeah. Montana. Fans want rage. Here we go. The two big men. He's such a hulking man. He's a big guy. The fans strongly behind Rob Rage. What were you say? Those are 24-inch pythons? Pretty close. Both these guys in excess of 6'4". Mm. going to be interesting. Something's going to give test of, here. Test of strength. Seeing who's got it. It looks to me that Mr. Montana has a slight edge in height. Mm -hmm. Which will negate a lot of uh, Rob Rage's power. When you've got the height advantage, you've got that leverage. But when they're both at the same level like this, you That's see Rage's power taking over. I would have been surprised, guys, if Montana was able to overpower Rage here. So, you know, trying to get in between them. Oh, Ooh. cheap shot. That's cheap shot or that. smart? Exactly. Smart cheap. move by the youngin. Ooh. What's all about? A page right out of uh, the bad guy. Oop. Rob Rage is not having it. Showing that rage. Rights and lefts. Trying to get into his head, but 
He's just going to pummel him for it. <laughs> uh -oh. Come on, Sam. Let's get a count here, ref. It's five count there. He's on the ropes, ref. Nine, ten. You are absolutely right. The slowest five count I've ever seen. Exactly. These guys go to 11 or nine. <laughs> Oh, use the whole five count, right? Five 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 counting. Come on, referee. Direct shots. You got to start counting the man down. Rage. Looks like he's going to enjoy some. Ooh. Nice reversal there. Rage has still got the work. Ooh, goes for the stinger splash. No one there. Oh, oh big, big clothesline. Oh, my God. Like it's winning tree trunks there. <laughs> Interesting here. These two big guys bringing it out. And here comes Stickball into the ring. Technica now going against the big man. Let's see how he fares here. Can you hear the fans oh, chanting for uh, Stickball as well? Oh, headbutt. Rare, rare. The Irish whip. Oh, reversal. Oh, oh come on. Rough seen it. Seen that right there. Gambino making his presence felt right away. And once again, double team action happening. Well, you know what, though? Mr. Atlantis played it right. He suckered Rob Rage into uh, <laughs> using some of that rage and trying to get in the ring and distracting the referee. You know, it's a good play by Soul Patrol to do that. It sure However, is. However, Gary Gambino interfering like that. If Sam Cena would fly, which I think he did, oh boy. That's a big man to get up there. No. Oh, wow. Oh. <laughs> Right in the bread basket. And we all know how much Tony Carboni oh, loves this Italian bread. Right he Getting loves his Bellagio. And look at this. Look at Insult this to injury. Choking the man <laughs> while Just doing push-ups. Business, will you? Well, you know what? If you're going to show off, you might as well make sure you're actually making an impact at the same time. Too. And look at this. Smart again. Conning Rob Rage coming. Now, we all know Rob Rage isn't the smartest uh, oh, guy God, out there. Fleming, Come on, think. it's true. And Rob Rage just proved it right there, though, by allowing himself to be tricked to come into the ring he's, again. He's getting you know? worked up. He's an, he's an emotional guy. He wears his passions on his sleeve. And, you know. Emotionally intelligent? No. Otherwise intelligent? Jury's still out. Doesn't need to be intelligent. Two. Look at him. Listen, if they want to stay the champs, you better start showing a little more intelligence. That was a pretty impressive slap oh, slam there. And another splash. Two. Oh, oh, what is this? I no, think that's no, no, going to be we're not done with it yet. I think, I think the rookie is going to be paying for that down the road. That definitely could come back to haunt him, that's for sure. Too much but I got to say, I, I'm liking the attitude here. What is the deal here, ref? Hey, it's rage again. Are you going to suspend it him again? It is so... You can't, it hurt to look over his shoulder he's for two his, seconds? He did. He looked over his shoulder, saw Rob Rage coming into the ring, and he held him back, oh, like man. any good referee should do. You know what? I, I'm actually really impressed with Sam Cena on this uh, match here. Ah. No, no! Oh. Oh, oh, oh. Irish whip right into that. Huge lariat from Mr. So Atlantis. Cool. Completely working over... Big, bald, and bad? Big, bad, and bald, exactly. Mm -hmm. Now, you have to be, you both have to be impressed with Swamp Patrol right now. They are acting like a well-oiled team. They are. They're turning Triple B into... Oh, oh my goodness. goodness. Oh, oh, well, the big man tried. Uh, tried wow. to, I don't know if that was that. You're fine. That's his take over. He needs oh, a better yeah. cover for that. He just got a low center of gravity, too, this football. But uh, the Triple B might be standing for black, blue, and bruised soon. Mm -hmm. no. I think you might be onto something there, Priestin. How huge of an upset would this be if Snow Patrol wins this? Oh, oh my god, that was violent. That was a deep, deep wow. spine buster. I don't think he's going to get from that anytime too soon. I don't think his head hit contact mm -hmm. with the mat. This is not looking good for Snow Patrol right now. Atlantis scrambled. Scrambled. Doesn't know where he's at at the moment. Absolutely not. No. And now he's starting. To, yeah, he Hearing knows his, his partner's voice. So rolling that way. Carboni. And here oh. comes Rob Rage. Oh, no tag here, but oh, high, high pulls line. Throwing it high, catching him on the bridge of the nose. Rage going for that stinger splash in the corner. One more time. Got him all over it. 
Oh, the big right hand. Come on, where's the ref on that one? That's one of his old CFL moves there. Rage, one of the linemen from the CFL days. Oh, and there's oh. another CFL move here. Oh, and look who's in the ring here. Gary Gaboni. Carboni going Carboni. after oh. his old manager, and he takes some liberties, and he gets shoved oh, no. through both guys now. Looks like they finally woke it up. Triple B coming alive here, getting rid of Mr. Montana and Carboni, getting rid come of... Come on. Look at this. Come on, count here. Oh. Come on. Two men in the ring there. That's double team. team. Two, three, it's over. That's tag team work for you. Now where are you? Decision stands, and we still have Triple B, Big Bad and Bold, as your Crossfire Tag Team Champions as they celebrate the ring with this young man right here. Look at his face, just smile. Just barely though did they pull off this Pretty victory. Sure that kid. <laughs> hey, what's what's good for the goose is good for the gander. Gambino got involved. Now I'd be I'd be hard pressed to say that Triple B would have been able to do the same against Power and Finesse. I don't know about that. I'm pretty sure that Power and Finesse would have had your hands full and then some of these two. These guys just seem like they're clicking on a wavelength that completely defies explanation. Whoever would have thought Tony Carboni and the Gorilla Vanilla Rob Rage would be like tanking together. Just bizarre stuff going on here at Fired Up 2018. Ladies and gentlemen, your winners and still Crossfire Tag Team Champions, Big Bad and Bald. And we'll be back with our main event of the evening for the Undisputed Crossfire Wrestling Heavyweight Championship, Phil Atlas against an unknown opponent.
Jason Chilwin. This contest is for the undisputed Crossfire Wrestling Heavyweight Championship of the World. And with the ladies in the charge, referee Darren Zelensky. This match is brought to you by First thing I want to say before he starts his little spiel. Welcome back, Justin Sane. How long has it been about what, six months? A year! This is your first match back? And you want to go against the champ? <laughs> Alright? Introducing the first, the challenger. Imperials from Burlington, Ontario, Canada. He weighs in at 215 pounds. He's back! Ladies and gentlemen, the Night Train Justin! From the Windsor, Ontario, Canada. His brother, an incredible one. 13 wins, only one disputed loss, one no contest. Ladies and gentlemen, here is the reigning, defending, crossfire wrestling, heavyweight champion of the world, the Canadian destroyer. Phil Atlas taking on Justin Sane. I wonder if Justin's ready for this. I mean, this is a pretty quick turnaround for someone who just had major reconstructive surgery on his knee. Mm -hmm. And that's just a one great big bullseye for Phil Atlas right there looking him right in the face. Knee to face, as you will. I got to make the concession here that, you know, it's a little odd that uh, Phil would have to be in a situation like this. He's going right after a knee right away. Yep. Sane is not going to let that happen by the looks of it. Not happen, and that is no respect and no way to treat the Crossfire Heavyweight Champion. He choked him, exactly. Come on, ref, get on this. Uh, I think that was fine. He just wanted to get him off his knee. I'd be mean, protecting it as well, wouldn't you? It's funny how you find that it's fine there, but had it been the other way around and Phil Atlas had been the one doing that, you'd have big issues with it and he'd be wanting to bring it up to, no, to council and have a big meeting. That's not true. Hey, I'm just going by previous statements. Let's see here. Let's, uh, let's see what we got here. 
him absolutely fresh. Just Ooh. look at this. If an Ari roll attempt does not get it. Whoa! <laughs> You're not going to catch the quickness of Phil Atlas like that. No, no, no. Back to his troops there, Mr. Hameen. Hey, listen, Ben Hameen is doing what he should. He's filling in for Jay Moore right now. Jay Moore, obviously, with the, the bum ankle, not being able to be quite at ringside to, to be there to, uh, you know, talk to Phil. I don't know what's going on. I guess the scene is adjusting his, uh, his ring gear there with his knee brace. I wonder uh, if, as this match gets goes on further, if he's going to have... That extra boost of confidence that it's going to hold up. I don't know. <laughs> Look at these. These horrible fans. Joe Mental Pimento, this MMA fan who had the gall to get in the ring and get him for out of his face He's not last an MMA month. fan. He's an MMA, MMA fighter. Right, is he a fighter? fighter. Yes, you know, when he wins, when he, if he ever wins, when and if he ever wins, I will refer to him as a fighter. But right now, he's a uh, he was, MMA fan. He he's awful. He he's awful. He just lost his first match not long ago. Listen, fake news is all that's going on here and let's call something real look at this and look at look at Phil Atlas working his way out of this headlock like a masterful technician that he is yes he is but so too is Mr. Night Train He's going to have to bring this up a notch. He's probably got a ton of ring rust here, guys. Mm -hmm. and, we're, and, you know, Justin Sane is a great, great wrestler, a great performer. And, you know, wow. had he not been coming off this injury, you know, I would think that maybe he'd have a tough time with this. But still, I don't think he deserves this shot right now. That was a brilliant move there by Atlas. Sane showing his power by putting him over the ropes. And Atlas hanging on to it. He's still going after that. Yeah, he's a smart guy. He's wearing him down, wearing the big man down, wearing Justin Sane down. Try to take away some of that breath, take away some of that air. And folks, these are the elite of the elite here across the You get two guys like this, wow. Ooh, big shoulder tackle. Sane, just loving this. Just He was just chomping at the bit to get back, and here he is. And oh, he's going to light him up, folks. Ooh. Justin Sane is going to light him up. Oh, big right hand. Another right hand. Come on, ref. Get in there. Phil's not used to this. He's not used to the rough house. And like this, Phil is a pure techniker. Well, at this point, oh. I think when you're the crossfire head of the and you're Ooh. as good as Phil Atlas, you can wrestle any style. Back to back. Oh, oh. a three. A triple drop kick. Out goes the champion. This is not looking well for him. Justin Sane looks to be back. 100%. He's chasing him out. He's chasing him out. He wants to piece it. He wants a piece of him right here. Well, you better be careful what you ask for. Well, he's got to keep the it. champ in the ring. He's got to watch out. out. Watch out for the big man too, Ben Hamina at uh, ringside. What's he here for? He is there What's for moral for? support, and what he's is? there to fill in for oh, he's Jay Moore. He's just his babysitter? No, man, it's team. That's what a team does. Team are there for each other, just like Phil Atlas was there for oh, the tag team. Hey, listen. Phil Atlas was there for oh. Congo Kong, and... He is of himself for that. He should be. He did what he needed to do. He distracted just insane, and so took advantage. Oh, oh, oh that big boo. Just insane. Might as well just stay down, call it a night, go home, take your paycheck, because I'm telling you, look at that. Come on. There's got to be fines levied for that. For what? 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 There's what did he do? The audience. Did he you can't blow his nose? You want your he kids to see that? You want your kids to emulate stuff like that? Hey, Definitely listen. not a role model is this champion. Listen, Phil Atlas has obvious sinus issues, and he was trying to Pickable. clear himself out so that he Pickable. could keep... Keep going. This is the NHL. He's not sitting on the bench. Oh, listen. ooh. Listen, he's got to do what he can to keep going. What's he supposed to do? Take Just let, let, let those sinuses that. get to him? And then well, I mean, come on. Hey, you listen. For that. We're calling it the way it is. It's obvious. This the guy is, is disgusting. Okay, go by saying. Well, of course. Blowing your nose is always disgusting, but it's something oh, that all humans have to do Give from time up. to time. Give it up. Oh, working on that. Arm. Yes, he is. This is the type of stuff that I can appreciate. I'm sure that the fans can appreciate. Look at this technical work here by the champion. Oh, got him by the ears. That's pretty insulting, but highly effective and absolutely legal. Well, Ooh. the rope isn't legal. <laughs> You know what, but he's got a five count to use it, and yeah. he's using it just right. Look he at him. He's using it. He's using he it. Breaks. Breaks. And yes. he's breaks. Right and he's breaks. 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 And he
Oh, wet willy. Should he be should he be suspended for that too? Yeah, maybe you should. Hold on, it's a wet willy. It's gonna be having a little bit of fun. And you know what? I don't blame Phil Atlas for the way these fans treat him and the way they've turned their back on him. The greatest athlete that Crossfire Wrestling has ever seen, the Crossfire Heavyweight Champion, and these fans treat him like he's a piece of garbage. You know what? He's doing exactly what he should do. And you know what? Sticking it to the fans at the same time as sticking it to Justin Sane, I've got no problem at all with that. You know, Doc and Fleming, you're both Canadian citizens, and you know if you spit on somebody in public, that's assault. He didn't spit on anyone. He blew his nose. That's not spitting. That's right. There's no lie against that. Disgusting. Disgusting as it may be, he did what he had to do, and you know what? You know what? I wouldn't mind seeing Justin return the favor, but you know what? He's not going to do that because Justin Sane is a... Absolutely fair competitor, but he's not faring well right now. He's going after the knee now. Which he should. And, you know, you talk about that with Justin saying, maybe Justin saying he isn't doing it because he doesn't have a cold like Phil Atlas oh, does. Give it a break. Hey, I talked to Phil right before this match. He was down. He was, he was feeling rough, you know. And he was taking his Vicks vapor rub and everything else. It just makes sense. Not and look at that. how sick he is and still. Still taking it to Justin Sane. Oh, that is a true yeah. champion right there. Exactly. He yeah, is ridiculous. Ridiculous or truth tellers? Justin Sane in big trouble here. Two Ooh. count. He barely got out of that. That was a three. That, that should have been a three. I mean, I mean, that was a slow count. I mean, really giving it now to, to Darren Zelensky. Didn't like that count. First not. It was slow. I'm oh. starting to think Zelensky can't count to three. Look at this. He's just picking him apart. Going to the hands. And nothing wrong with that. That's right. You know, it's a bit of reverse psychology here, folks. I think Justin Sane might be worrying too much about protecting his knee. So Phil Atlas is going after everything but but that knee. Tremendous. Tremendous. Such a great in-ring technician. I have no problem with Phil Atlas. Phil Atlas, the person, there's some issues. Absolutely some issues. Listen, we're not just turned on. What a great move. What a smart heads-up move by the Crossfire Wrestling Champion. That was on the knee. Let's see what's happening here. If he's able to... Ooh, go for the neck break here. Nails it. That was perfection. I think think Justin's just too rusty for this to come back too soon. And I'm loving these pins. He's not trying to beat Justin Sane right here, but you can see he's pushing the face down on Justin Sane with every single pin. Tiring Letting him know he's here. Yeah, exactly. Tiring him, Tiring him out, frustrating him, talking trash to him right there. The amount of energy that Sane has had to use right now to get over all these pinning combinations, mm-hmm. and now look at the smart look, stuff. And look how deep that is. Deep, deep, deep. He's got... I, I won't be surprised if he goes out here. Deep but legal. It's, it's on the chin, chin yeah? Going after the uh, the gas tank, if you will, of Justin Sane here. Very suspect at this point in his comeback. Elbow to the back of that. Another elbow to the back of that cat, or to the back of that thigh. Working on that knee. Oh, this oh. Is, oh. Is, is getting gruesome. This might be this might be a cause for referee to really look at this and maybe stop it. And look at Phil Atlas talking trash to Justin Sane, talking trash to the referee. Yeah. Listen, this is happened. this is this is all me. He's saying what. What more does he have to prove to people? It's, it's time for Justin Sane just to give this up. You have two bum knees, two reconstructed knees, oh. and you're going to keep going like this? Just call it a day, man. Live the fight another day. You know, you're you're is, being outclassed. The referee, the referee does need to consider the overall safety of these athletes, and this is just getting to be uh, a little a little too one-sided here. This might be called... The referee is checking with him right now, but Sane being the proud guy that he is and the competitor that he is, is telling him to let him go. But I mean, I, I, I don't know how much people want to see this. Uh, oh. I'm telling you what, I want to see this. More and insulting I'm, the, the night train. That's right. And I'm loving this lesson that uh, Phil Atlas is giving to the night train. Oh, nice reversal. One, two, oh. Oh, You're not going to get Phil Atlas like that. God, no, no, too early. Oh, oh, and you see the knee. You oh, start to buckle goodness. there. Phil Atlas went right after, after it. Absolutely. Oh, ooh. Catches the leg there. This is really hard to watch, guys. Every time he does something with that leg, oh, it makes me wince. You think Look he's going to get out? Pull that out of nowhere. Oh, a big right hand to Phil Atlas. Another right hand. And another. Boot to the belly. Here we go. Ooh, just insane. It's just relentless. Oh, big boot. 
What's he thinking here? What's he thinking here? Is he going for it? No, he's not yet. Ooh, that's, I, I question him. I question him for doing something like that move after no Phil Atlas working on his knee so much. Only getting a two. Only getting a two. That springboard has got to put a lot of pressure and a lot more pain on Justin Sane's knees. Absolutely. Every time he goes to do something and plants that leg, I just wince. Just wince. Oh! That could be lights out for Phil. That is classic Justin Sane right there. Who's Good got him advantage. up? Got him up on the shoulders. Phil's fighting it. Oh, oh, oh come oh. on. What is and there's this? there's an insurance policy no, right there. That's, that is ridiculous. What is ridiculous about that? He saved his man. That's what he's there for. Just ridiculous. You know what? I hope Sane does something here. I think he's going. No, what are you doing? Oh, come on. This is just insane. What are you doing? That's oh. Justin. Listen, Ben Hameen didn't even touch Justin Sane. He, Justin Sane has no right at all to put his hands what on Ben Hameen at side. About? Did Ben Hameen touch Justin Sane at all? No, he did not. Ben Justin Hameen Sane went out of his way to attack Ben Hameen. Justin Sane's back into the apron. No, 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 no. no. Oh, he what? moved, but Phil stopped himself. Oh, good move, Phil. They, oh, he went for that boot again. Missed. Oh, second time, Justin Sane catches it. And, oh, good. Drops him on that apron. Everyone know the... Hardest Beautiful. part of the ring. Hey, they just dropped him on it. He's got to come back, do the same thing. Why not? Good for the goose, is good for the gander. Oh, come on. Kong Kong making an appearance. This is getting the insurance ridiculous. just went up. There's no need for it, and this is getting ridiculous. And just insane has just come face to face you know, with a monster. to do something about this. Crystal Plot needs what? to do something do about what? this. Do what? There Pumble is nothing in the not rules. The night train. There's how, nothing how, in the rules saying that they can't be out there. Is how legal it's is It's completely legal. It's he hasn't touched them. He has not touched exactly. them Exactly. Okay, then maybe the next opponent for Alice should bring a riot squad and riot gear to stand around the ring. Sure, why not? Right. It works, right? You know what? Maybe that's oh, an option. Look at that, Justin Sane just put his hands on Kong Kong. That's two men he's put his hands on that aren't in this match. What was that, Mr. Fleming? Swinging a crutch at his head? He's swinging the flag because he owed him for payback for him hitting him earlier in the tag. I don't know. What's up with you guys? Listen. We call it the way it is. We call it as we see it, and we call it right down the line. Unlike people who work for the management around here. Small victory, getting a two count in this situation, being outnumbered by a bunch of goons with weapons, with absolutely no business being down there. I gotta say, the young man, Justin Sane, is doing just fine considering. Look at this. Look at this. What business does he yeah, have to be in? has actually put his hands on him. Yeah, Not cool. No, 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 he owed him, though. He owed him. He you forgot that Justin Sane just did a suicide plunge outside the ring onto Ben Hameen, and Ben Hameen had not even touched him at that point. Ben Hameen is just sticking up for himself right now. Outside of the ring is one thing, man, but he was not being attacked. He interfered in this match. Nah, Blanche, I haven't about. you said anything yet. You can kick these guys out. You, you can get what you pay out. for. Nah. Start paying the refs a bit more so you can get some proper referees. Oh, 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 oh wow. Here we go. I think he just blew his knee. He blew his knee. Come on, get, get him back. Get him All back, right. ref. Make sure you get, listen, this Again, is... Again, the important thing is the champ. Athletes tell us we need to check it out. I don't want to see anyone get hurt like this. He exactly. needs to be checked out. Justin Sane having just experienced this, he's getting it too. What's Jay Moore's problem? He's offering him crutches. Jay Moore has crutches and he was going to help him out, help out his man. Well, I don't see what's wrong with that. First look, hey, look, 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 he's calling. He put me through the axe up. Oh. 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 Kick to the back of the knee. With a bad knee. I'm impressed. It, it that just bad. shows the four, fortitude of Why is it bad Phil or is he just playing possum? I think he was playing possum. You know what? What through. a great strategist. Exactly. That's fine. If he's such a great athlete and strategist as he is. Oh, oh come on. Super kick. Why does he need these guys around the ring with him? He doesn't. Psychological warfare. Oh, my God. It's all about the team. 
He was out with his team supporting them. They're out with him supporting him. Oh, come on. It's psychological. Check this out. You bring your guys out there. Justin Singh is more worried about the other guys than the proper match. Exactly. I can't believe he's going to say, okay, and what is this all about then? Listen, he just wants the people of Crossfire to see the flag. They want, he wants the people to know who Bin Hameen represents. And Bin Hameen. I can't. That was so smart. So smart. So smart. So smart. Well, the rest too busy watching Phil Atlas and everybody listening. Oh, guys. oh, oh! Hit him so hard hard. by hitting him. There you go. Oh, That's what you get. Just in That's what him. you get. Everyone's laughing. At come on, oh, oh, come on! You're supposed to be unbiased here, Priestin. <laughs> like me, pull it down the middle. Be unbiased like me. With a big shot. One, one two. two. No, you're not. Oh, taking come out. on! Taking out Canada's greatest athlete with that. That was an inch away from having a new champion. Come on, Justin. You, you, you regain yourself. Listen, get a hold of yourself. You're supposed to be unbiased. You're supposed to be unbiased. Be a professional like me and call this match I'm down the middle. Unbiased. Much like I am. There's the factor of Ben Hamid. I oh, come on. Again. And just come on. What disrespect. He took the flag and wiped his butt with it. What, that's, Justin that's Singh, more come on. That's so disrespectful to his flag. Oh, here, here, here's a winning champion. He's got his belt out. Oh, come on, Raph. What's he doing? Look what he's doing. Look, is he, did he hit anyone with the belt? Did he hit anyone with the belt? He, he was just saying, you're never getting this belt. Didn't you hear him? Ryan. I heard him. He said, you're never getting this belt. Ridiculous. He was just trying to show him what Justin Singh would never get. Oh, that was sporting. That was real sporting. There. Listen, the ref wasn't in the ring. Was the ref in the ring at the time? One, One two, two, three. Bob, you're on the Ladies and gentlemen, still the winner of the Crossfire Heavyweight Champion and the greatest athlete in Canada today, the Canadian Destroyer, Phil Atlas. You all better recognize. Uh, whoa, 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 the match is over. No. Listen, Phil has to make sure he's sending a message to the locker room out there. You want to disrespect Phil Atlas, this is what you're going to get. You want to disrespect Moore's family, Moore's monsters, you're going to get the snot show. This is going to get the uh, people in the locker room thinking about this about challenging Phil Atlas for championship. This is the most ridiculous thing I've ever seen. Finding is the most ridiculous crap of a person's mouth I've ever heard. I'm going to take my comments. No, 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 it's not my fault you guys are looking through things through your room clothes, your room colored glasses. Yes, it's a disqualification if the ref was in the ring. The ref wasn't in the ring, it was a smart move. Who won the match? Who won the match? Jay Moore going on the beef now. What's Jay Moore's beef? You want to hear something? You want to know what Phil Atlas just said to me? Huh? He, he already just said to me, he said, if you're so tough, Mr. MMA boy, and you got the balls, then why don't you hop over that rail, Mr. MMA boy, and step in the ring with Phil Atlas right freaking now!
Jim! Yeah.